All right, glad to catch up with uh, J.D. Williams going into uh, another exciting year of ULM basketball. Uh, one, one of the veteran guys now, one of the returners. How excited are you to tip this thing off here in a couple of weeks? I'm oh, very excited. We got a good team. We're going to be um, very big, very athletic, and very strong. So I'm very excited for this year. You know, speaking of athleticism, and I can remember some some of your dunks last year, and and just you know getting up and down the floor, and and another game that really stood out to me that you showed that athleticism early. Michigan State playing in that environment, you had 25 points. How did that kind of build your confidence in your first year with this team going into the season? Um, it, it, it to my confidence to the top, like knowing that I can do this against Michigan State. I mean, I can do it against anybody. So it really boosts my confidence up to the top. You know, last year was your first year inside the Sun Belt. Your your analysis of playing in the league the first year, and then what do you expect out of out of your opponents going into this season? Uh, I mean, everybody we everybody we played last year played really hard. So, I mean, I just they play hard out of everybody because that's how they did last year. So. I think a lot of our fans, they were at the the Texas Southern game and, and knew that you went down with the injury, fully healed. How are you? How was the rehab? And, and how glad are you to, to be able to get back on the floor? Um, my ankles, it's real good. It's I'm trying to get back stronger, you know, um, still working on it. And it's, it's going to be – it's going to be real good. All right, this team is a lot bigger than last year. I think we talked about that a lot. You've heard a lot about that. How are these guys kind of, you know, embracing their roles down in the post? And, and how are you guys kind of on the outside, uh, you know, the, the different areas kind of in the guard play, working to get the ball down low to these guys? Um, it just, it just, you know, they so big, so they can – Block people out. You just throw it to them and and you let just let them go do something with it. All right. Finally, my job's gonna be tough this year. You've got an easy name. Yours is awesome. There's some tough names on this squad. All right. Let's have a little fun. Can can you name? Can can you can you correctly pronounce all your teammates' names? Can you do it? Uh, Mike Erdl. Well, that's easy. Come on, man. Let, let's make it a little tough here. Come on now. Uh. That dude, I don't know his last name. <laughs> uh, Chris, F U T T two some. Hey, I'm, I'm I'm judging by you guys now. Y'all 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 got to tell me how to do this. They got some crazy last. Name. I can't even pronounce. Them. All right, so y'all got to do some team building, team bonding in the early times on the road. Know know your teammates' names after it's all said and done. But uh, yours is easy. We're gonna be calling your name a lot this year. Good luck this season. Yes, Thank you. All right, good to uh, catch up with Tyree White. Great last name, by the way, there. Uh, glad to have you back for another season. Uh, how excited are you to just get this thing tipped off here in a couple of weeks? Uh, I'm very excited for the year. Uh, I'm accepting a new role with the team. And I just feel better than ever at this point. You know, calling the games last year and, and talking to Coach, and you, you were one of the, the bigger guys on the team. How difficult was that, kind of bouncing around to some of the different positions, you know, the five, the four, and not really getting to play uh, your true position? Um, it comes with being coachable. I feel um, a player like me could play any position on the floor. It's all about what Coach wants. Uh, but as far as me being back on the wing, it, it's, it's kind of nice for me to run around out there and just be a little free. It kind of seemed to me late January, early February, you know, you were coming coming from the junior college ranks. It clicked. What what was the moment where you thought it, it kind of clicked and, and you kind of see your game elevated last year? Um, I feel midway through conference, I was making major progression. Conditioning was getting better. I started hitting shots well. And really, Coach uh, gave a lot of trust in me to uh, shoot the three ball that – like my teammates just put the trust in me, and I'll knock the shots down. You had some some high flying dunks in particular in Fant U and Coliseum. Uh, can we expect a, a few more of those opportunities here to uh, to kind of bring the roof down in Fant U? Definitely. Every game I'm gonna try to get one. I'm five seven. Can you jump over me for a dunk? Definitely. No doubt. No doubt. We're going to do that at shoot around sometime this year on the road, all right? Uh, finally, and we got to have some fun with it. You know, th this is the all name team. Uh, let me see how well you know your teammates, all right? Let, let's go down the line. We're not talking about JD or Mike. You know, those guys, uh, they're pretty easy names, but uh, can you name all your teammates? Chris, 
I don't know. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna make a fool of myself. Nicknames? Come on, you gotta have nicknames for these Chris, guys. Chris, we got Big Chris, we got Daru, uh, Eerie, we, his name E, Elijah, just Eli or Elijah. Um, who else knew? Luke is Luke. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, DeAndre is just Dre. Mike's new name is actually Fredo. Oh, there's a story to that. Now, how, how did he get this nickname? Oh, yeah, because he got the sauce. <laughs> Alfredo sauce. So. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was something else more than that, but uh, I, I got it now. So. Yeah, so, yeah, it's just, it's just Fredo. Just keep it simple. Awesome, man. Well, great, great visiting with you. Good luck this season. Thank you. All right, good to catch up with uh, Mike Ertle coming back for his third year uh, here with ULM basketball. Um, how excited to, to kind of be in a veteran, upperclassman now, to, to kind of really step into a major leadership role with this basketball team. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. The first two years I was the, the young guy, uh, the guy that was kind of looking up to everybody. And uh, this year I'm kind of I'm the most experienced guy we got. Um, you know, I'm kind of the people, the guy peop, other people look up to. But it's, it, it's, it's a great feeling, you know. Um, it was bound to happen eventually, you know. Um, it feels like it went by quicker than – I feel like I'm already in my third year. It went, feels like it went by super fast. It does happen fast, and, and you've kind of you know become a name in this town. You come from Indianapolis to Monroe, Louisiana. Um, just just how how have you kind of embraced being here in the South, being in Monroe, and, and kind of you know trying to lead this basketball team and, and trying to win a conference championship here? Yeah, um, at, at first it was kind of culture shock, but I. I love Monroe, you know. Um, I've met a ton of good people. Um, I've embraced the town, and they've kind of embraced me too. Um, I know my, my parents and my family love it down here when they visit for games. And, um, you know, I, to, to, win, to win here means a lot. And if you're able to do that, I feel like the people here um, will remember that. And, um, you know, if we were able to compete for a championship and win, win the championship this year, I feel like that's something people will never forget, and uh, it'll mean a ton to them. Yeah, no, no doubt about that. You you improved greatly last year at the free throw line. You know, obviously, it takes a lot of just time in the gym. What are some things that you worked on in the off season this year to kind of add a new wrinkle to your game? Yeah, um, uh, people know that the three point line has moved back, yeah. and um, you know I've been kind of in inconsistent from there. Either I shoot it great, or I you know shoot it terribly, and um, that's a big thing for me just to continue to get a lot of reps shooting that that deeper three so I can make a, a high volume of them this year. And um, just trying to make the right play. You know, coach is always on me about, you know, whether to pass or shoot. Um, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll pass open a shot or, you know, I'll shoot it when there's a pass there just to kind of get, just to continue to be more of a point guard and not just a guy who can score, um, you know, make, just making the right play. And um, yeah, like I try to get a little stronger. Um, you know, I didn't gain a ton of weight, but my but my strength the numbers have gone up a ton, um, and that's kind of what I wanted to do um, to kind of remain quick. And uh, yeah, those, those are the main things. So. A game I'm excited about uh, after Christmas, going up to to your hometown and playing Butler Historic Facility, great basketball program. It's your hometown, and Coach talked about. Uh, you, you went to all their camps. You've been around that program. Uh, how excited are you for that? And how many people out of the Ertle family will be in Hinkle Fieldhouse on that Saturday afternoon? There's going to be a lot. Uh, maybe I don't. I don't know the number, but there'll be a lot. Um, you know, people have been talking about it all summer when I was back home. You know, really excited that we were able to get Butler. And uh, you know, I grew up a, a huge Butler fan. I went to all their camps. We had season tickets growing up. Both my parents went to Butler. I was I was at the national championship game when Gordon missed the half court shot, so I mean it'll be it's just going to be a great experience to go in there and you know try to beat them. You know, well, you you bring up half court shot. You are the first person as far as in an athletic event that made my voice crack and and go crazy that half court shot there in overtime against Texas Southern. Uh, that's still one of the most unbelievable moments that I can recall. I mean, how how just your thoughts on just making that kind of a shot in that kind of a situation? Yeah, um, you know, we had probably three, four seconds left, and uh, coach actually said he didn't he didn't want a half court shot. He wanted me to get it down there closer, and I was going, and it kind of I kind of dribbled it off my foot. Then I saw the clock; it was getting down there, so I just you know stopped and and shot it, and was able to go in, and you know, 
that's really all, all there was to it, I guess. Yeah. Well, from my vantage point, I knew as soon as it left your hand, it, it was going down. I mean, it, it, what about for you? Yeah, it, it felt really good out of my hand. Um, and, you know, I I don't shoot a lot of those from really deep, you know, in practice, but I work on, you know, stopping like that. And I was just able to make it, you know, so. All right, I've heard some of you guys joke at shoot around that, that you know, especially with Coach Ryan Cross, that uh, you feel like you could cross over and play other sports here at ULM. You had Ty Shelby come over and play, you know, from football to play basketball. Could you could you head over to the gridiron and uh, what what would be you know your position that you feel like you could star at here at ULM? So the answer is yes. I feel like I definitely could. All right. Yeah, so do we need to call Coach Viator on this? I think I think after I'm done playing basketball, I think I can play like a slot slot wide out for the football team for 100 percent for sure what, what what's what's your stats what, what's your height and weight i'm like so that, what, that what's that, your real height and weight probably six two one one eighty seven probably right now exactly you can go over the middle yeah yes yes well because by the time i'll be playing football i'll be a little bulkier oh, okay. and i'll just keep my quickness you know i i think i can Probably we'll see. I don't. I don't know. But I, I would love to. You're not like Jimmy Graham, though. You know, you're not. You don't have that kind of size. No, not not even close. Not not that much of a freak athlete, too. I don't know if I could beat anybody in a straight line. But I could. I could maybe shake them for five yards. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be shaking a lot of guys out on the court, but uh, you don't want to shake your teammates. But I want to know how well you know your teammates. You got a lot of new guys. I want you to name as many of these guys because I got to in two weeks. I got I got to study. Your name's easy, JD, Tyree. I, I got those guys down. Help me get prepared for November fifth for our first game. G- give give me some pronunciations of your teammates. Um, all right. Well, hopefully I'll learn them because you're saying them a lot. But uh, we have Chris Afertui. Afer- you can't get help from the crowd over here. You got it's on your own. Uh. Elijah's last name, I have no idea. I, I don't even know what letter it starts with. Uh, Dadu Trehori, Trenori, Trenori, and uh, Eri Olanade. I, I, th- I think I got that one. Eri Olanade. Um, yeah. Luke, Luke Phillips. That, that's, that's an easy one, one yeah. One. Even this guy from Union Parish can figure that one out. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, what what else is what else kind of complicated one is there? Um, you got most of the tough ones yeah. out of there. Yeah, and then the other ones are easy, like Jalen Hodge, Langston Powell, you know, all those guys. I, I got pretty well. Um, uh, de- I, yeah, I I, th- I think I got them. Maybe I I'm, I'm not gonna say them, but I think I got them. <laughs> well, here here's to uh, here's to many. Many uh, splash three-point calls uh, here this year. I'm looking forward to that, and uh, let's have a great season. Congrats to you, and good luck to you. Yep, yep. Thank you. We're, we're ready to go. So, yep.